Eddie Hearn has now publicly confirmed that both Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders have rejected opening offers from Canelo Alvarez to fight in May, I believe. Oscar De La Hoya has responded by calling Callum Smith an idiot for rejecting the opening offer. Eddie Hearn seems to suggest that negotiations are still ongoing and therefore they're expecting improved offers from Canelo. He also seems to suggest that the reason that Smith and Saunders rejected the opening offers is because the money was nowhere near as good as some recent Canelo opponents have got. I'm assuming he's talking about the likes of Sergei Kovalev. Well, here's my take on it. Billy Joe Saunders and Callum Smith have to take a very long, hard look in the mirror because this Canelo fight is potentially a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Now, they might feel, because they're all zone fighters, that they have got a little bit of leeway to maybe try and force a better offer out of Canelo because they might feel that Canelo's probably not going to try and fight somebody who is signed to top rank because negotiations are going to be more difficult for those fights than it would be for an in-house fight. Maybe that's what Billy Joe and Callum Smith are thinking. But I would say to them, don't push your luck. Canelo is the biggest cash cow in boxing. The world is his oyster. He's very much the A-side. He calls the shots. I can't imagine what could be in those contracts that would make Billy Joe and Callum Smith not want to sign. With Billy Joe, there's really no excuse for not taking the Canelo fight. I mean, the only way for him not to take it is if what? Eddie Hearn didn't want him to take it. Maybe Eddie Hearn has got some way of steering Billy Joe away from the fight. Maybe he wants to preserve both guys and have them fight each other rather than fight Canelo Alvarez. I doubt that. And one of the reasons I doubt that is because of the fact that Callum Smith is out of contract. Callum Smith's manager, Joe Gallagher, just a couple months back, was threatening to take Callum Smith and leave Eddie Hearn and go sign with a different promoter. And he could still do that. As far as I'm aware, there is no new deal between Eddie Hearn and Callum Smith. So... As far as I can tell, Hearn has no leverage over Smith and no influence over what Smith does. He's simply acting as a, a negotiator along with Smith's manager, Joe Gallagher, with Golden Boy. With regards to Smith, if there was a rehydration clause for a Canelo fight, okay, maybe you could say that that's a reasonable uh, thing to reject the fight over. But even then, Canelo Alvarez has been in this position himself. Canelo Alvarez was very much the B-side against Floyd Mayweather. He had to fight at a catchweight. There was a rehydration clause, I believe. He had to take a tiny percentage of the money. But Canelo understood at the time that it's not just about the money, it's about the opportunity. And that's something that Billy Joe and Callum Smith need to understand right now. Canelo used the Mayweather fight, even though he lost, as a springboard to launch the rest of his career, which has turned out to be fantastically successful. And it will go down as an all-time great in the history books. That is what Billy Joe and Callum Smith need to look at. Eddie Hearn talks about how the market is so crazy at the moment and Callum Smith and Billy Joe know how much other fighters are getting paid out there. And so when they get this opening offer from Canelo and it's far less than they expected for a fight of this magnitude, they're thinking, nah, man, you're not going to mug me off. But you might be mugging yourselves off, boys, if you let this opportunity pass you by. For Billy Joe, I mean, a rehydration clause wouldn't even come into it because Billy Joe's smaller than Canelo, truth be told. So Canelo wouldn't even need a rehydration clause. And according to Mike Coppinger, I mean, I don't know if his information on this particular issue is accurate, but according to Mike Coppinger, there is no rehydration clause at the moment in the negotiations for either Smith or Billy Joe Saunders. They will never forgive themselves if they let this opportunity pass them by. As I've already said, maybe because they're all his own fighters, they think, oh, you know, he's not going to go fight somebody who is signed to, let's say, ESPN or Fox right now. It would be too difficult to negotiate that. So we can afford to push Canelo a little bit and get a better deal out of him. Don't push too far. Understand that Canelo is very much the A-side and you are in it for the opportunity as much as you are for the money. As long as you give a good account of yourself, then your career is going to be on the up and up after the Canelo fight, even if you lose. Obviously, you're going to go in there to try and win. You're going to do your very, very best. But don't be you know, thinking that this is 
the, the be all and end all. You must get paid off this fight or there's going to be no big paydays for you in the future if you lose. No, don't think about that. That's, that's almost like a cash out mentality. You want to cash out with this Canelo fight because you feel like you're going to have your belts taken off you. No, it's a springboard. That's what this potentially is. Even if you lose, it's a springboard for the rest of your career. Don't mess it up. So that's my take on this situation. Again, Hearn suggests it's an ongoing negotiation. So we have to see if there's improved offers from Golden Boy. But if neither Callum Smith nor Billy Joe Saunders fight Canelo next, serious questions have to be asked of both fighters. And with regards to Billy Joe, I guess serious questions have to be asked about Eddie Hearn too. Obviously, there's only so much Hearn can do. He can't put a gun to Canelo's head and say, take the fight. And certainly with Callum Smith, he can't put a gun to Smith's head and say, take the offer. He can't do that. Smith could give him the middle finger and say, okay, I'm going to go sign with PBC. I'm out of contract with you, so no, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me what offer I should and shouldn't accept. Maybe it's the same with Billy Joe as well. I mean, maybe Hearn doesn't really have any influence over whether Billy Joe takes this fight or don't take it. Who knows? But he certainly doesn't over Callum Smith. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. We heard from Oscar De La Hoya not too long ago about Jamal Charlo rejecting an offer to face Canelo. That was madness. It will also be madness if these two guys don't take it. <laughs> one of them is going to be kicking themselves. I mean, Eddie Hearn said in one of the interviews today, he believes it'll be Callum Smith or Billy Joel that's going to get the fight. And the one who does get it will be the one who accepts less money. Why mess around and, and start trying to push for extra money? Be the one to say, okay, I'll take it now. Especially if you're Billy Joel. What have you got to lose? Yeah, there's going to be a, a you know, rematch clause and all that kind of business. And that's great. You get to fight him twice. <laughs> Even better. If you beat him, you get to fight him again. I mean, perfect. So Billy Joel really and truly needs to be the one to get this fight. He's been talking about this fight for years. Saying he'd fight Canelo for nothing. And now he gets the offer. He's trying to push for more money. Who's advising him to push for more money? Is it Eddie Hearn doing this? Why would Eddie Hearn do that? Does he not want him to get the fight? Why would he not want him to get the fight? <laughs> Doesn't he want his guy to go in there and try to beat Canelo? What does he want Billy Joe to do? I don't know, maybe fight Callum Smith. But again, Callum Smith out of contract with Hearn. He can't manipulate Smith into doing something Smith don't want to do. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out.